Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to automate WhatsApp marketing for lead generation companies. So here I'm owner of a lead generation company and to promote my company, I'm running a Facebook ad. So in this case, I want whenever a new lead is received in my Facebook ad, automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent to that lead. So to automate this process, we will use an automation software named as Pavli Connect in which we need to connect a trigger and an action. So in this process, our trigger application will be Facebook lead ads and our action application will be WhatsApp Cloud API. So to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn how to send an automated WhatsApp message to your Facebook leads for lead generation company. So here I'm an owner of a lead generation company with the name Craft Leads. And to promote my company, I'm running a Facebook ad. So in this case, I want whenever a new lead is generated, automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent to my lead. So to automate this process, we will use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. This is the homepage of Pabli Connect. You can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get free 100 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. After signing in, you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to integrate my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you can see a create workflow button on the top right corner. Here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this button. In this create workflow dialog box, we have to give a name to our workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as automate WhatsApp marketing for lead generation companies. And now I'm going to select my folder as Facebook lead ads to WhatsApp. You can select your folder as per your need. Also, you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now to create a workflow, I'm going to click on this create button. Here in this workflow window, you can see two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards our trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action step. Now let's begin our automation by simply setting up our trigger. Here I'm going to select my trigger application as Facebook lead ads and a trigger event as new lead instant. So that whenever a new lead is generated, instantly Pabli Connect should capture the response. And now to connect my Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Facebook lead ads account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now I'm going to click on this connect with Facebook lead ads. Here I'm going to select my Facebook account. And here you can see authorization successful. Now after building the successful connection moving forward, here it is asking me to select the page. So here I'm going to search for my page that is craft leads. And after selecting the page, here it is asking me to select the lead gen form. So here in my meta business suit, you can see the lead ad form which I have created for my use. You can create your own form as per your need. So moving back to Pabli, here I'm going to select my lead gen form as lead generation forms. So here I've selected a single form because I want only the leads of this form should be captured by Pabli Connect. But if you want the leads of all the forms should be captured by Pabli Connect, then you can select all lead gen forms. Now moving forward, here I'm going to click on save and send test request. So now after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response. That means here we need to do a test submission. And to do a test submission, let me take you to Meta for Developers. This is the homepage of Meta for Developers. From here, I'm going to click on this more. And from here, I'm going to select tools. Now here in developer tools, I'm going to select lead ads how to debug tool. And here in lead ads testing tool, it is asking me to select the page and the form. So for the page here, I'm going to select my page, which is named as craft leads and my form, which is lead generation form and now to submit a new lead I'm going to click on this preview form and now here you can see I have entered a dummy data where I've entered first name as demo last name as user email as demo at the rate pablitudes.com and a random phone number and now I'm going to click on this next and then submit and here you can see it says your test lead has been sent so now let's move back to Pabli window and here you can see we have successfully received a response where we have received first name, last name, email, phone number and other details. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger. Now let's move to action step. Here I'm going to select my action application as WhatsApp Cloud API and my action event as send template message. And now to connect my WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. 
Again here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your WhatsApp Cloud API account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. So now here to build a new connection, it is asking for token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So to get all these details, you need to set up your WhatsApp Cloud API account. So here in Meta for developers, I've already set up my WhatsApp Cloud API account where I have received temporary access token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. But here you can see I have received a temporary access token that means this token will expire in 23 hours so to build a permanent connection you need a permanent access token and for that you need to set up your whatsapp cloud api account so to learn how to do this you can check out the video on our youtube channel now to connect my whatsapp cloud api with pabli connect from here i'm going to copy all the details and paste in my pabli window so here i've pasted all the details and now i'm going to click on the save and here you can see we have successfully built a connection. Here it is asking for template name. So for the template name, let me take you back to my WhatsApp Cloud API setup. And here in step 2, you can see it says to create your own message template, click here. Now here in message templates window, you can see all the templates which I have created for my use. If you want to learn how to create your own template, then you can check out the video on our YouTube channel. Now here I'm going to select my desired template, which is named as lead generation. And here you can see the message which I have drafted which says hello, thank you for showing interest in our lead generation company. We are excited to help drive your business forward. Let's connect soon to discuss your goals and how we can assist you further. Regards, Craft Leads. So here you can see I have used a variable in the place of name. That is because I want whenever a new lead is generated, automatically the value of this variable should be updated with the new lead name. Variables makes our text dynamic. You can add multiple variables in your text. Here I am going to select my template name as lead generation and after selecting the template name automatically this language code and selected template ID will be updated. Now it is asking for recipient mobile number. So here I need to enter the number to whom I want to send a WhatsApp message. So instead of entering it manually here I will map the data. Mapping data means insert data from previous tip. That means here I will map the data from the response I have received in my Facebook lead ads. Mapping also makes our text dynamic so that whenever a new lead is received automatically this existing lead detail will be updated with the new lead details. So here I'm going to map the phone number moving forward and now it is asking for body field 1. That means here I need to map the data for my variable. So here I'm going to map the full name. So here I'm done mapping the data and now before clicking on save and send test request from here I'm going to remove this dummy user number with my original number so that I can receive a whatsapp message. So here I've entered my original number and now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see we have successfully received a response where message status is accepted. So now let's go and check our WhatsApp. So here you can see we have successfully received a message which says hello demo user thank you for showing interest in our lead generation company. We are excited to help drive your business forward. Let's connect soon to discuss your goals and how we can assist you further. Regards Craft Lead. So with this we have successfully set up our automation. Now let's test our automation to check whether it is working or not. So to test our automation we need to submit a new lead and for that let me take you back to the lead ads testing tool. So here in lead ads testing tool we need to delete our previous lead in order to create a new one. Because it says you can create one lead per form, you will need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. So to delete a lead I am going to click on this delete lead. After clicking on delete lead, I'm going to refresh my window and that's a necessary step. Now again here in lead ads testing tool, I'm going to select my page which is craft leads and my form which is lead generation form. And now to submit a new lead, I'm going to click on this preview form. So again here I've entered a dummy data where I've entered first name as test, last name as user, email as test at the rate pabritudes.com and my original phone number so that I can receive a WhatsApp message. And now I'm going to click on this next and then submit. And here you can see it says your test lead has been sent. It may take few seconds to receive a new WhatsApp message. So now let's go and check our WhatsApp. And here you can see we have successfully received another message with different name but the same message template. So with this we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as Facebook lead ads and our action as WhatsApp Cloud API. So that whenever a new lead is generated in our Facebook lead ads, automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent to that lead. If you want to use the same workflow then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.
Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can contact us on support at zaritpabli.com. If you have any query, you can contact us on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can contact us on www.pabli.com. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.